Hey guys, before I get into the lip mask review, I just wanna talk for a couple minutes about Rose Forever. I get tons of emails from companies wanting me to show their products on my channel, but Rose Forever stood out. I've always wanted a rose arrangement like this, so of course I had to say yes. They just make me feel so fancy. Rose Forever is a company from New York that makes rose boxes. They've got tons of different colors of roses, different boxes, shapes, sizes. Uh, they have a whole variety on their website if you wanna check it out. They're real roses preserved in these oils and they are handcrafted into these little arrangements. They're allergen free and they're supposed to last at least a year. So it'll be interesting to follow up in a year and see what they look like. They do have a subtle, not so overpowering rose scent. They added in after the preserving process, I guess their natural scent goes away as part of that. You can't smell it just like in the room, but if you go up and smell the box and you can smell the rose scent. They also have roses from Ecuador on their website. I don't know a ton about roses in general, but apparently Ecuador is known for having like some of the best roses in the world. So I picked these nice creamy roses with the velvet box. When I first got them, the tops were a little bit flattened, but after about a day or so, they fluffed right back up and they look like they do now. So if you get them and they're flattened, don't worry. I've always wanted to have one of these little rose arrangements. I feel like they just make me feel like I have my life together. And since these roses are preserved, they're gonna be more delicate than your typical rose bouquet. They're not gonna fall apart with a touch, but you're not supposed to touch them. You're not supposed to water them. They just sit there and look nice, super low maintenance. The one thing with the suede kind of velvet box that I picked is it picks up dust. So I gotta lint roll it every now and again. But other than that, they're pretty much good to just sit there. It shows up much more on camera than in real life. It's very subtle in real life, but of course with the light and the camera, you can see every little speck of dust. I wish I had one for every room of my house. I keep making like little arrangements and try to make it look the prettiest on my coffee table. It's just fun. If you want more info, I'll leave it in the description box. If not, let's get on to the lip mask review. Okay, so today we have the Belief Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask and we're gonna compare it to my tried and true Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So the Belief is one of the few that compare to the Laneige with the amount that you get and the price point. So the Belief is 29 Canadian or 20 US dollars and you get 20 grams, which is the same as the Laneige, but the Laneige is 26 Canadian or 22 US dollars. And it's funny that they have the same amount. The Belief just looks so much bigger than the Laneige, but they got 20 grams each. That being said, I hate the packaging of the Belief. It's just not nice to look at. And I know it's stupid, but if I like the look of a product, I'm gonna leave it out on display on my vanity or whatever, and I'll use it more. But I don't wanna do that with the Belief one. It just looks so... Nah. This looks like a little top hat. I don't like it that much. The Laneige packaging is just cute to look at. The Belief is also just so huge. Like, okay, these have the same amount of product in them. This is huge. Why? You could fit like 20 of these in here. Unnecessary. 20 grams, 20 grams. Just not nice. Look how cute. Look how not cute. The Leaf just has the one flavor scent. It is clear and subtly scented. I can't really tell exactly what it smells like. It smells kind of like planty, essential, oily, citrusy. I don't know, you get the idea. Where the Laneige, I can't even keep track of how many flavors, but they've got the more like artificial flavors and they have a taste as well. The Belief doesn't really taste like much. There are similar textures, but the Belief is a bit more gel-like and Laneige is a bit creamier. I find the Laneige to be on the creamier side of most lip masks that I compare it to. When you rub them into your lips, the Belief does get a bit more thin, but the Laneige, I feel, stays creamy as you apply it. So I've been testing the belief at a time where my lips need a lot of help. It's winter, I've got that dry line on the bottom of my lips. If I don't send in reinforcements soon, it's gonna be a bad situation. And honestly, the belief is just not cutting it for me. It's more of like a band-aid solution. You apply it, it feels good and hydrating in the moment, protects your lips from the harsh weathers of the Pacific Northwest. But for me, I find it dissipates really quickly. It gets thin and I feel like I, has, I just have to keep applying it if I want it to do something for me. If I put it on overnight and go to sleep, I wake up as if nothing even happened. The Laneige, if my lips are in this state that they are now, I've got the dry line forming on the bottom of my lips. If I put the Laneige on and go to sleep, I'll wake up with 
brand new lips. Formula is just a little less thick. It's a little more gel-like. Me and the gel formulas, we just don't get along. And I could kind of tell from the first time I tried the Belief, if you take the same amount of each product, the Belief and the Laneige, and you rub it in, the Belief, as it absorbs into your skin, will get more kind of sticky, and it'll basically, the product like dissipates faster. The Laneige, as you rub it in, gets slippery rather than like sticky. Basically, it's not like disappearing into nothing. It's sticking around and it's helping your lips and it's doing its job. The belief, not so much. It just kind of holds your lips in the same stage. It doesn't add moisture. It doesn't do any repairing. The Laneige will repair. The belief just kind of stops things from getting worse. Anyway, that's all I got today. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried both of these and if you agree with me, I'd love to hear it and I'll see you later. Bye. This is all this video needed to be. This one is good. This one is bad. Thank you for watching. <laughs>